And this is our master bedroom. I don't think Stella is ready to say goodbye to this bed yet. Stella Rooney, we're gonna get a new bed. Are you excited about it? <gasps> a new bed for mommy and daddy. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. All right, bed has been disassembled. Very exciting. Our new bed already got delivered, but we have to go to Ikea because they broke a piece, shocker. I don't think Ikea can ever deliver something that's not broken, but saying goodbye to this bed. Our room is so big and we just feel like the black just makes it look smaller. So very excited to get rid of it. That one is really nice. I just don't know if I love the black legs. But you like- You wouldn't really see it, I guess. You wouldn't really see it. That like it's not nice. the key part yeah. of it. It is nice. It's nice. I do like it. Yeah, I like that one too. What's that called? I think we Ellison? should be also aware that we are going to pay. Pay, yeah. I like this dresser. Oh, yeah. Matching dresser. This is really nice. This is the Jensen. Oh, wow. All right, this is, I think, my favorite one. That one. Back again for the second weekend in a row. Hey you guys, our side tables just got delivered or nightstands. I'm so excited. I think they actually, I mean the box is pretty big. I think that they honestly come assembled. They are the Jensen ones. Guys, happy Wednesday. Stella, do you want to tell them the update? Tell them that we got a new bed. <laughs> Here is our Malm. We love it so much. I feel like it just brightens the space up so much. And it's just like such a beautiful minimal bed. I don't know, I think you love it or hate it. I really want to get a body pillow just from like Walmart or something and just Yeah, but I think I am in love with it We actually have new Brooklyn and sheets coming which is exciting. They're like a linen one, which will be so nice But definitely assembled which is great. I think I just have to put the legs on but I don't know how to get them out You guys, I'm actually so obsessed with them. They're so beautiful. They do have legs, um, but I'm just gonna let Matt put them on just cause he always likes to build the things and I didn't realize they were gonna come assembled, honestly. So I'll let him do that, but they are so nice. Swapped the striped pillows for these Ikea ones that we got and I think they look better, honestly. And I'm so excited to see what Matt thinks about the side tables. I'm really, I'm so excited and then we have to like put the handles on I'm laughing because like we haven't even put the handles on it or anything and i've already put my stuff out um that i need my nighttime essentials kindle kobo my sage goodies a scrunchie i need to go find my alarm clock i got one from amazon a while ago that i never set up because we didn't have side tables so i need to go set that up but we made a huge mistake we originally had so this is melting icicles the color on the wall and we originally had a container of matte paint, but our new container is eggshell, and we didn't realize. So we have to repaint the whole wall because obviously you can tell the new can is shiny and the original wall is not. So that was our mistake. It's the same color, but it's a different like finish. So that's tragic, but I am like just so obsessed. I feel like my dream bedroom is finally coming together. so hard
over it, you guys. It's Monday. It's been a few days. Well, it's only been two days since we did it, but this is what it looks like so far. I'm so obsessed. I honestly don't even want to put art up because I just think this looks so beautiful. Looks so bad because the covers are in the wash, but we got a plant for the bedside table and yeah, Matt did an amazing job. It was honestly so much easier than he thought it would be. All he has to do now is just clean it up a little bit. Like there's just, you know, spots here and we have to paint over it obviously because it's just trim so he's gonna do that and i think he said he was gonna do some caulking but that's the update there so waiting for our dresser to come back in stock from ikea so we can replace this and just it just looks a little chaotic now you know what i mean today's update is matt ordered one of these to put under the bed so that we can use our outlet now we don't like have any charging or anything but Of the frame, right? Center of the frame. Okay. So I think that's center. too high. That's kind of weird. My thing. Lower. Yeah, I think it needs to be kind of like up a little, little bit. Yeah, I think it needs to be like there. Sure. Good height for it. Today is the day we are putting the sconces up, which is probably the only update that I have for today. But tomorrow we're going to go out and get the finishing touches because I have to film like a sponsored little Instagram post with Neo and we're going to you know, get some fresh flowers, look for a mirror. Oh, and our dresser's coming tomorrow. They're so beautiful. I'll link them. They're from Amazon. Alrighty guys, we just got home. I'll show you guys our little haul of things that we got. Stella, do not lick the pillow, please. Stella, no licking it. The finishing touches of things for the bedroom. And we're just waiting for the dresser to be dropped off now. But we're going to clear this out of here. So we're saying bye to this chaoticness. I cannot wait to have a dresser in here. And we also bought three options for a mirror. A lot of you guys were like, what are you going to do with this? We're going to keep it. I think I'm just going to put it in my office. Are we getting rid of this lamp, I'm assuming? Yeah, I just... All right, we have our mirror options here. We originally went to HomeSense and I really wanted a rounded mirror, but we couldn't find one. So we grabbed a square one, but then we went to Winners and found this. So I think this is gonna be the keeper, honestly, but we have three different options, two different sizes. And then we also picked up, so this is this is for the dresser, just to have like a little catch, <laughs> a little catch all for stuff. And I want it to be wood to tie into the side tables. I'm really learning the whole home decor thing, okay? And then I really wanted a lamp on the dresser as well, just to add some height to it. So picked this up. I'm really, really excited about this. And the dresser to get dropped off now. We have to put the dresser together and I'm so excited. My gosh, that's a lot of pieces. I know. It's like, it's like adult Lego. People always ask why I don't help Matt put things together, and that's because he doesn't want my help. Because I will make the process longer. Yeah. Um, the thing when you're doing like builds, like it's sometimes nice if you have two of the same. Like that was fine. Mm -hmm. But it's like when you have one thing, it's hard to like jump ahead. Yeah. Like you can't have somebody on the second next step. Like you have to follow it. No, that's the hard thing. You can't really have two people putting it together because like I can't just go to the next step while Matt's on the previous step. Like you could probably start assembling the cupboards, but then like we don't like I need the instructions so I yeah. can continue doing this part. And he really enjoys doing this. Like I'm not forcing him. Like he loves putting things together. Happy Saturday. Matt got the base of the dresser built yesterday and he's just gonna finish up doing the drawers. I actually think we both said that it's like the perfect size because there's a little bit on each side whereas the malm would have just gone like from here to here and it would have I think been a little too tight so I'm really happy that this is almost like a little bit of a smaller dresser. All right, we have one drawer on. We actually ordered different handle pulls just because it came with black ones and as much as we love black accents, 
it wasn't it wasn't for this room you know this room was supposed to be like warm cozy kind of coastally vibes so this is what the first drawer looks like it looks so good and there's like a solid amount of space in there i love it they're actually like pretty not soft clothes but they're very like gentle yeah. Woo! another one Okay. The first option. Okay. I don't like it. No, because it definitely feels more rose goldy. Now yeah, it it, it kind of clashes. It clashes with it's the nice little, little size, size. But it's yeah. When as soon as I took it out of the store, it's like the lighting changed. You know, yeah. small. I think. I mean, the thing is, is if I put it on its side and anchored it up, still too small. No. Yeah, I think it will. It's definitely rose goldy. I think. What do you think? A little lower? Happy Saturday, you guys. I've been living in this shirt because I'm really trying to manifest spring. And it's snowing outside, so it's not happening. But plan for today is I'm going to go and run some errands. None of those mirrors really worked out, as you guys saw. So we're going to return them and hope that our home sense near us has something. Fingers crossed. Because um, this video is going up tomorrow. Regardless if we have a mirror and I would really love to have a mirror. And I also have to run some other errands like I have to do a drop off at Value Village and we'll look for some Just like coffee table books. So I'll show you guys how I do that and just kind of like what I look for when I thrift coffee table books Because you guys don't need to be buying them on Amazon for $50 You can get really cool not only just like unique ones But like vintage ones and ones that are unique to you and what you enjoy <laughs> Like for example, we love Disney and we've thrifted a ton of really cool Disney coffee table books So I want to thrift a few in here that are kind of giving off that coastal neutral vibe And I just want to say I've gotten some comments that were like, oh my gosh, your room looks like every other room on Pinterest out there and You know, we like neutrals if you saw what our bedroom looked like when we first moved in at the beginning of this video It was just not our style. We've never been able to curate a room that we really love until now and so you know i get it a lot of people are really into the neutrals but it's what we wanted obviously we spent money on this so obviously it's something we wanted and i get that it's not for everybody someone some might like a bit of a darker room or darker furniture but it's what makes us happy we wouldn't just put together a room just just for the sake of it being like aesthetic we really really love this space and yeah i've just been getting some like pretty nasty comments being like this looks like every single room everyone has out there and maybe that's because we all have really great taste i don't know but it's obviously a room that makes us happy and at the end of the day this is our home we bought it and you know we're putting the love and the work into this house and that's really all that matters obviously i want you guys to like it too but what we want really matters the most so just a reminder to be kind it may not be your cup of tea it might be too bland for you but I think also to keep in mind too that when you're doing something like YouTube or social media it is really important to have a room that is very bright and airy and yeah it just makes us really really happy and so yeah it might not be for everybody but we really really do love it and I mean it's a space that we're very proud of and it's really what I want the vibe for our whole house to be so I just wanted to put that little disclaimer in there and then at the end of this video, I am going to give you guys a cost and budget breakdown. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. But we have some errands to run and I'm super excited. I'm just like so happy that it's like all finally coming together. Oh, that did not last long. And it's just like so close to being done. We're also not um, against maybe putting some art here as well, but it would have to be like the perfect art piece. And I think having a mirror here would be really, really nice. Yeah, let's head out and run our errands. Oh, first I'll show you guys the dresser because we did organize that, but I didn't vlog it. It actually works so well because we have Stella's basket here, but here are the drawers. They're pretty like average size, I would say. They're not like huge, but they're just like perfect for us. I have like bras and underwear and socks in my drawers. Some like everyday shirts like my Align tanks and tank tops. And then down here I just have my sports bras and like just some extra bras and stuff that I don't wear all the time. I absolutely love this lamp. I do think it was a really good deal. I'm just going to obviously check and see if they have anything on clearance at our home sense before we take the tags off of it and whatnot. The music is so loud in here. But what you're going to want to look for is any book that you find interesting. And then you're going to want to take it off and see what the spine looks like. And what colors you're going for. So we like to do neutral ones like white. So I'm gonna skip on this one. And I look in the fiction and nonfiction because sometimes you find really cool vintage books in here. This is super cute. I feel like for spring, this is really cute. 
I also like to look in the literature section because sometimes they just have really beautiful books like these ones like this is just a really beautiful spring book so they always have really nice ones here as well home and garden section is a really great place to find books for like your living room and then you can find really great vintage cookbooks for like the kitchen and stuff the book I ended up thrifting I'm so excited I like to try and do books that make sense in that room so like clothes bedroom obviously makes sense cookbooks in the kitchen home life books downstairs so i'm really excited about this and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and grab a plain book um, i like to do books that don't have busy covers on the front obviously and then i would like a thicker book on the bottom so i'm gonna go look at my collection and see if i have anything All right, you guys, here is a little grand reveal. I'm just gonna vlog it, it's a little easier because Matt's actually gone, but here it is. I'm so obsessed with it. I definitely think, I don't know, let me know if you guys think there's something else that we need here for height or if we did a good job. I feel like I'm slowly learning how interior design works. Really, really love everything here. I love the speckledness of this lamp. I feel like it just adds a little bit of warmth to the room. Um, Matt and I both usually have our AirPods in here, but I think this is a good wood tie-in to the side tables. And then, of course, the plant that I got last week on my Sunday reset. Curtains aren't new for this video, but I definitely just love the white, bright, and airiness. I've got a sleeping dog here who would not move, so you guys are just gonna have to enjoy this. It's a very lived-in bedroom makeover tour. We've got Matt's side of the bed, which I think this is like the most man, like Matt's side table ever. He's got his money book his space book and a Google home. And then our beautiful sconces, which we're still waiting for the light bulbs to come because we didn't want to have a cord running down here and we didn't have time to like redirect the wires. So there's actually literally nothing in them right now, but they will have battery operated lights, but we don't use these lights a lot. These are definitely a bit more decorative. So yeah, we've got our sheets. I actually just changed them. These are Brooklyn in linen sheets, which I'm so excited about. I think the linen is just, and of course you've had these on a good day and there's already dog hair. Add something to the room and I got this neutral spring pillow, which I love. My side, which I have a sconce as well. And these flowers, which are still kicking it from Valentine's Day. I'm shocked. I have, like I said, this is one of my favorite thrifted coffee table books. And then I just have this like little setup here because one of you actually told me that I shouldn't keep my perfume in my bathroom because of the humidity. So I took it out. This candle is from H&M. And then I just have like a little basket with my rings and lip balm. And then of course, some <laughs> the not organized drawers. I actually need to take my birth control. So there's- Alrighty, now that you guys have seen the final reveal, I figured I would break down how much everything cost. And I just wanna say that there is no right or wrong way to renovate your home, make over your home, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna thrift everything, we were having a really, really hard time because we don't have a big car and a lot of people didn't wanna deliver. And I feel like thrifting pieces for your home is really great if you have a lot of time. We were under a bit of a time crunch because Matt was on vacation from like a certain day to a certain day and we'd already sold the bed and stuff so yeah but if you want to buy everything brand new at like freaking crate and barrel like send it go for it i love that for you if you want to do a mix like we did of like a little bit of like the higher end of affordable like struck tube to me is like a bit more higher end than ikea but we really wanted to have the ikea bed be there's no right or wrong way to do it i just wanted to share the numbers with you guys you can do it cheaper than us you can do it way more expensive than us you do you. Alrighty. So we had budgeted almost $2,000 for the bedroom, which sounds a little crazy considering like our, our downstairs bathroom cost us 500. It was all the furniture and furniture is so expensive. Like we definitely thought we'd be paying about $500 for like the bed, the dresser, and then the side table. So that's kind of why the number is so high. It's not really the little things. It's really just like a bedroom is full of furniture. So let's start with the bed. So we paid $31 for our bed because we actually sold our old bed. And so out of pocket, we only had to pay $31. We have a Malm from Ikea. When we started this project, and we kind of do this with everything in our life, we find one thing that we really want to invest in to carry with us to our next home and what we wanted the focal point of this room to be, which for me, I was very adamant that I wanted real wood nightstands. I didn't really want that, which there's nothing wrong with, but I didn't really want that Ikea, like fake wood. I don't really know what material that is, but you know what I'm talking about? Like the Malm bed set came in this like brown fake woody color, but it's not really wood. It's like 
whatever material they use to make the bed. And so I knew that the nightstands were something that we were going to have to probably spend a decent amount of money on. Which even then I think that these nightstands being $300 each Canadian is a really good deal. Um, considering everything else we looked at was like upwards of like $500 Canadian each for a nightstand. So I do really think these are great and they're huge. They're such great quality and they're real wood. And you can tell because the two nightstands actually differ a little bit in color because they are real wood. And you can't obviously with real wood say that they're going to be identical colors. So the nightstands are definitely the focal point in the bedroom and the one thing that we really invested in. And so our nightstands cost us $675.74 for both of them. Our dresser. So we originally were going to get the Malm from Ikea, but once again, we kind of had to pivot because the Malm was going to be out of stock. It literally only came back in stock today, and I we needed to have this bedroom done today. It's Sunday. You guys are seeing this in a few hours. I'm just wrapping it up because Matt goes back to work. He actually had all of last week off to do this project, and so we needed a dresser. So we ended up getting one from Structube, and out of pocket, we paid $215.47. The dresser cost more than that, but I had $145 of Neo cash back to redeem, so I used that, which came in great hand or came in handy. I don't know why mirrors are so expensive, but yesterday I actually found it on clearance. They had just put out fresh home stuff on clearance at Marshall's so I got our mirror for $39.99 lamps I wanted a really specific lamp and I thought we we're gonna have to get it at Ikea which we actually have a gift card for but it was like $80 and I found this one at home since yesterday and it was $49.99 we ordered gold handles on Amazon because our dresser came with black handles and they were like $50 we had to get a pack of 20 because we have it's either like 10 or 20 and we have 12 handles but we actually got our money back for that because there was just like a little mix up and there was actually not 20 in the bag so they actually gave us our money back and let us keep them so we paid zero dollars for the handles uh knickknacks we spent 13 dollars so I, I thrifted that book yesterday and then we got that little wood piece that ties in really well to the side table in terms of all the parts and stuff for the molding that cost us 149 dollars and 76 cents now keep in mind that's just like cost of lumber in Canada. It might be cheaper in the US, it might be more expensive, I have no idea, but that was just all of the molding pieces and little accessories we needed. We needed a small can of paint and then we needed some paint stuff. So the molding itself was probably about 70 or $80, but then we had to get a little accessories to go with it to finish it. Matt also bought some tools for this project, but I'm not including that because I don't really know how much they were, but he did buy a laser level and a miter saw. <laughs> Which I think he would have bought anyways, but he did buy it specifically to do this project. Our sconces were $94.91 from Amazon and they're perfect. They're great. Um, we love them so, so much. And then lastly, we had to buy an outlet cover. So basically our outlet is in the middle of the bed. So we had to buy a little cover that splits so we can each have charges on our side. And that was $67.74 from Amazon. Our grand total for the bedroom, furniture, knickknacks, like parts home depot all that stuff together came to thirteen hundred and thirty seven dollars and eighty four cents canadian which i'll put on the screen what that is in usd as of today as of the like dollar today yeah like i said you can do it cheaper than us you can thrift everything you can do it a lot more expensive than us i just wanted to throw those numbers out to give you guys an idea i am so happy with how it turned out truly i want to spend all of my time in here i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys liked the like vlog style of the makeover i'm excited to see what our next project is i can't wait but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you guys next time bye